Hey guys, Diggy Kitty Game Dev here. And in this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building a claymore. So this is going to be a small series, shouldn't really be much. It's going to be replicated. And obviously, if you're familiar with this channel, written in C++. Now, we're going to do things a little bit differently. And I'm going to start doing this basically for the majority of the features moving forward is we're going to be containing it inside of a module. So if you're not familiar with what a module is, if you are aware of how things like plugins work, so for example, here's my FPS plugin. This can almost be considered a module. So it's like this own, like its own self-contained chunk of code that you can really use kind of anywhere. So if I want to just copy this, I can move it over to somewhere like, you know, this project here. I just name like a plugins folder and paste it in there. And now all of a sudden, this pinging tutorial project now has the FPS plugin that it can use. And it's as simple as that. Modules are slightly different, but not, you know, too different. They're not exactly copy and paste, but instead you can, well, technically you can copy and paste them to your source folder. You don't have a plugins folder or anything separate like that. And all you have to do to add them is in your .u project, you can see here we have one module by default. You can just copy and paste it in as another one, rename the name to the actual name of the module, and you've added it to your project. So it's like making your own contained portable code. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now, to begin, we are on the third person example project. Nothing's been changed with it. The only difference was I changed my IDE from Visual Studio to Writer because Visual Studio kept popping up and kept pissing me off. We're on Unreal Engine 5.1 and we are ready to begin. Now, there is this guide here. It's a little vague, but it has basically everything you need to kind of get going with it. So I'll link it in the description below. But ultimately what we need is a build.cs file with our module name, .cpp, and a header file. That's pretty much it. From there, we just add, you know, parts to our code as if we were using a plugin, for example. It's not really any different. So if we head over to our source folder, we want to create our new module. So in this case, I want to create a module called Claymore Module. Now it's empty and we need the three files. The easiest way to do that is go to our project name here, grab our build.cs, .cpp, and .h. Copy those, paste them in, and rename to Claymore Module. So we're going to rename all those to the same thing. Now we want to open the build.cs and anywhere we had the project name, in this case Claymore Tutorial, we want to replace it with our module name. So Claymore Module, Claymore Module, save that, open up our .cpp. We want to change it from include Claymore Tutorial to Claymore Module, change Claymore Tutorial to Claymore Module here. And the last thing we need to do is alter this line. So if you scroll down the documentation a bit, you'll see here's our build.cs example. Here we have our module.cpp. So it is no longer implement underscore game underscore module, or in this case, implement primary underscore game underscore module, which I guess is technically the, the game itself, so to speak. It is now implement module, and it just takes in two parameters. So we can remove this last parameter here and change the name to implement underscore module and save. Okay, once that's done, Let's go to our Unreal project, edit that with Notepad, and copy this module right here. Add a comma so we can separate out two modules, and give the, our new module a name of Claymore Module. Same name we have giving it. And we're going to leave the type as runtime because that's the type that this is. Okay, once that's been done, we can, I'm going to go and close down the editor really quick. We can right click on our U project and generate the Visual Studio project files. All right, we didn't wait too long enough. There we go. So let that generate. Okay, once that's done, we now have a new module under our source folder. So if we go ahead and try to build, should be pretty much good to go. Go ahead and hit run to launch up Unreal, and you'll be met with this. So the following modules are missing our build, blah, blah, blah. If you rebuild, it's still gonna fail. So what we need to do is head down to our Claymore tutorial. So this is our project. Find the 
dot h wait no where am i at sorry glamour tutorial dot target dot cs and we want to add the extra module name so we're going to copy and paste that and we're going to name it from claymore tutorial to claymore module kind of self-explanatory there and i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to our editor dot target dot cs add the exact same thing and now let's go ahead and run and as you can see now our project is actually launching okay once we're in our project we can go ahead and you can see we don't have our folder here for our module we just have our primary module which is our game we right click and create a new c class we're going to go ahead and do actor because we want to create our claymore and we want to change from claymore tutorial to claymore module and i'm going to select public so it keeps them separate and i'm going to name mine to claymore please work okay there's no conflicting names and create the class now You'll notice that the documentation recommends, this is kind of up to you, I probably should actually mention this earlier. Where am I at? So it recommends you basically create a public and a private subfolder, like what we just did when we did the uh, Claymore class. And it recommends you placing your module files, these guys, in the public and private you know, corresponding. So cpp to private and .h to public. I don't like that layout, but it's kind of up to you to do that if you wish. I like keeping this along the lines of how the project project is formatted. So where everything, like these files here, are in the root. And I want to leave these in the root. So that way the only thing in private public is going to be my actual code. So said that finished and we're good to go. So what I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to, I guess I can trust live coding. It should be okay by now. So here we have our Claymore module. And here we have our Claymore. So let's go ahead and, oh yeah, that's right. It's going to take me a little while to get into the habit of it. I'm so used to UE4. I'm going to go ahead and close down the editor and just confirm that we do get a successful build, which we do. So I'm going to go ahead and try regenerating the project files and see if that allows, I guess, whatever it's called, IntelliSense. I don't know what writer calls it, to pick it up. All right, so we're going to go ahead and open up our build.cs. I don't know why I didn't think about this, but basically we have all of our modules that we're going to be using, but we don't have the module that, you know, we don't have our own module in here. So we're going to go ahead and add a module. So we're going to go ahead and add Claymore module like so. And anytime you make a change to your build.cs, you generally want to generate the Visual Studio project files, yada, yada, yada. Now it should work. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, once it's done that, go ahead and close it out. And we should be good to go. So now we should be able to go back and forth. Getting the action ready, yada, yada, yada. There we go. Now it's actually starting to pick up stuff. All right. So we should be good to go. We should have our Claymore. And the only thing I'm going to do now is add a mesh. So this can basically be ignored. This is just temporary. So just do it at default only. I don't really care about a category. And we're just going to do view static mesh component test mesh. And this is just to make sure everything works and is good to go. So test mesh equals create default sub object use static mesh component. Static mesh component. And we're just going to set the root component to equal test mesh and launch the project. Okay, now that we're back in our project. Here we have our Claymore. Go ahead and create a blueprint class of it. I'll just throw it right into content. BP underscore Claymore. And here's our test mesh. Let's just give it a cube and we'll set it to like 0 0.2 for scale. Go ahead and block that. So we just have a small cube. And there we go. We now have a cube that is, well, located in its own module separate from our project. So now if we want to be able to take this Claymore and add it to another project, we can just copy our Claymore module. I'll just use the ping tutorial again, paste that in our source. Go ahead and edit our pinging tutorial. Gonna add, gonna go ahead and copy that module. 
name it claymore module. We don't need any additional dependencies. And save, regenerate project files, and we're good to go. We would now have it in our pinging tutorial project. So that's the whole idea behind making use of the modules. Literally, in the name modules, we're making things modular. But yeah. Okay, so we have our module set up, we have our actor, and now we are ready to actually go and build our Claymore. So I'm going to see you in the next video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below where I have a Team Deathmatch series available if you're willing to learn that, as well as you can join my Discord if you have any questions. So I'll see you in the next one.